All right, Jen St. Dennis from Business of Vancouver is with us. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Sawmills, how are they doing in BC? An important part of our economy, of course. Yeah, that's right. Well, it wasn't too long ago that forestry was kind of on an uptick. The uh, price of lumber was very high, reaching record highs, in fact. Well, uh, now it's a bit of a different story, and we're seeing that uh, today in the news that Canfor will be closing its uh, sawmill and canal flats. That's a very small community in the East Kootenays. That's going to result, it's a permanent closer, closure, so that's going to result in the loss of 70 around 70 jobs for that community now uh, mill closures are sort of expected for BC uh, throughout this decade and that's because of some of the lingering effects of the mountain pine beetle uh, reducing the amount of wood that's just available to uh, to timber companies but for this mill in particular the union that represents the workers there says that this this move was a shock they thought things were going well uh, but uh, that is not going to be happening now uh, now, another thing that's happening is that the price of lumber has declined a lot, and there are several factors for that. So the de demand from China has been declining quite a bit. We had made a big effort to open up this market in China, but now with slowing demand for all sorts of commodities, uh, wood is one of those things. Another factor is that all, even though the U.S. home building is sort of picking up, there's a lot of competition from lower price wood, especially from places like the U.S. South. So, US, so B.C. lumber is having to compete uh, with those factors as well. And that certainly is what Canfor is saying. Is the reason for this closure is market factors. Steve? All right. Thanks very much for that, Jen. Jen St. Dennis will be back in an hour with more business news. You can always read her, of course, at BIV.com.